hey you guys it's your girls from goddesses and today we are coming at you guys with another dessert idea we're going to be making a southern classic which is louisiana crunch cake from scratch so i'm just going to go ahead and get right into it all right firstly what you're going to be needing is two whole sticks of salted butter and you want that to be softened so we're just going to add that to our bowl make sure that's nice and soft and then you're going to be adding in two cups of white sugar two cups of white sugar and you want to go and just take your electric mixer and blend it all in all right um, I let this blend in for about five minutes. You want it to be really fluffy. It should look like this. The sugar and the butter mixed together. Very, very, very fluffy. Now I'm going to go ahead and, and add in one fourth cup of sour cream to the butter and sugar blend. And what the sour cream is going to do is make your cake moist. And that's one fourth cup. You can add in more if you want. Um, but that's how much I add in. And that's just going to make it really fluffy and moist. Alright, now I have the four large eggs. You're going to want to incorporate them one at a time while blending just so the mixture stays fluffy and airy and doesn't weigh it down all at once. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and add in one egg at a time while blending. Okay, you guys, now you're going to want to add in two teaspoons of vanilla extract. That's going to give it a really good flavor. And um, beat that in until it's all smooth. Okay, so now you're going to want to work on your dry ingredients. So go ahead and put that to the side, but as you see, how fluffy it is still. So that's the key to your cake being nice and moist. You don't want no brick. But um, for the next ingredients, you're going to need three cups of cake flour. And this is what we use. We use soft silk, soft as silk enriched cake flour by Pillsbury. And um, yeah, you can find this at any grocery store. But you're going to need three cups of that. You're also going to need one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of baking powder and a half teaspoon of baking soda. So, um, this is what we have. So, again, I'm going to say it again. One teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, and a half teaspoon of baking soda. And we already have that here. And we sifted the flour with the salt, baking powder, and baking soda in here. So, everything's mixed in here. All ready to go. Alright, you guys are going to need one cup of buttermilk to add in. You're going to want to um, distribute them alternately a little bit of buttermilk and a little bit of the flour a little bit of buttermilk and then a little bit of flour you guys catch my drift okay so um there is your wet ingredients the butter and the sugar and everything and add in a little bit of buttermilk mix it up and then add in your dry ingredients and then mix it up the whole point for this is to make sure everything is distributed evenly and everything's going to be still airy and moist and everything so that's why that's it Okay, you guys, everything is blended in. It's looking really good. Okay, for the next step, you're going to need um, one of these um, two dishes, two pans. Um, this is a really big one, as you can see. You can definitely use one of these bunt dishes, but I'm going to be honest with you guys. This is not going to fit all that mix. So, if you're going to use this, do not fill it up to the top. You're going to have to distribute it in cupcake cups or... Um, another pan because it's a lot that's why I recommend using one of these big two pans like this okay now what I did was I sprayed the inside part already with some canola canola cooking oil and then you're gonna want some sugar some white plain sugar 
and you're going to want to add enough to coat it to coat the bottom part and then the side of the bottom I would say all together about five tablespoons of sugar should coat the entire dish you don't need to add a whole bunch because you don't want it to turn sticky or anything like that okay so after you have that all coated you're going to want to add in so just a couple of spoonfuls of coconut and we're using um, the baker's kind uh, make sure it's sweetened just the shredded coconut you just want to add that to the bottom the bottom and the center yeah but um, yeah you see the coconut we added about how much did we add about two tablespoons like a couple of handfuls yeah just just how much you want okay and then you're going to want to add in the um your batter to it and just fill it up go ahead and add that in and we're going to bake this on 350 degrees 350 degrees for about 50 to one 50 minutes to one hour yeah yeah we're gonna put this in the oven for about 50 minutes and we're gonna come back and check it and then we'll let you guys know what's next okay all right we'll see you guys in a bit okay you guys now we're gonna show you guys how we do the glaze um, what we do is four tablespoons of salted butter melted and then we're going to go ahead and add in some milk. We have four tablespoons of milk. You can use um, evaporated milk or regular milk, whatever works for you. But we're using evaporated milk today. And just four tablespoons of that. Now we're just going to go ahead and add in two cups of powdered sugar. There's a cup right there. And add in one more. And once that's mixed in good, you want to go and add in your flavor. So mix that in a little bit. Okay, now we're just going to go ahead and add in a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then going to also want to do a half teaspoon of almond extract. If you don't have almond extract, you can just do um, one teaspoon of vanilla but the almond makes it really good so I would definitely recommend getting getting some almond extract with that so that's the vanilla and then here's the almond and then finish mixing that all in okay guys as you see the cake is all finished I took some of the glaze that we made and I just put it to this plate just so that the bottom part isn't all dry or anything. But now what you want to do is go ahead and get the cake onto that plate. It's very simple. You want to be very careful if you're using one of these. It's very hot so you want to be very, very, very careful. So what I do is I turn it and then take the part off. So that's the top of your cake. And then just add it. And it's really crispy on top with the coconut and all the sugar. It's really crispy, so I think they kind of fell. There you go. That's just the sugar part. And now um, you just want to go and add in your glaze. And it's going to thin out because the cake is still kind of warm. So the glaze is going to thin out evenly. Alright y'all, so here's the cake. I sliced it. That's what the inside is looking like. It's so freaking moist. I just can't stop eating it. The top is kind of crispy. There's a slice that I have right there. Man, this cake is really good. Um, this is definitely a classic southern cake. And you guys should definitely try this. Definitely. So, um... Try it for the holidays. It's something different. It's very light, but at the same exact time, it'll fill you up. 
And this cake is so good, especially with the almond glaze on top. So, if you guys are interested in the ingredients and the recipe, it's going to be in our blog. So please follow us there or just print it out there. And um, if you do happen to try this, let us know how you like it. Okay, guys? I appreciate all the love and all the support you guys have been showing us. You guys, happy holidays. I'm probably going to be doing some more holiday food cooking. So if you have any requests, let us know. And we'll talk to you guys later. Alright, you guys. Peace and many blessings. Alright.